Asian society. Swadika, hello everyone. This is ASEAN Society and I am Kusuma Yota Samut. Kotaram, a major district in Ratchaburi, is long known as a large Mon town, situated on the rush fertile plains of Meklong. This area was originally inhabited by families of the rulers of the strategic border town near the western border and their followers who migrated to Siam after the kingdom was united by King Taksin the Great. The district long before it became officially known as Potaram is home to many ancient Buddhist temples built and looked after by a long line of Mon over the last 350 years as the spiritual hub of many Thai residents of Mon descent. Speaking Mon dialect with distinctive heavy accent, these old folks always make their presence felt among their own peers. Asset Society will find out more for you. Panpong and Potaram Mon. There were eight Mon diasporas to present states Thailand in the central plains of the Chapuya River and the Makrong River. Ayutthaya saw three evacuations, one during Thonburi period, and the rest happened in the early years of Ratanakosin. All were the result of wars. The Mon were generally well accepted by Thai kings and they were given lands for settlement, most of which close to rivers. I am standing in front of a map depicting ancient city which is uh, many of them uh, belong to Burma. And also right here in Rajaburi, where I am standing here today, we start off this shown. This is the evidence, the Mon Enclave along the Japuya River to the north of Bangkok and Makrong River. The second settlement was concentrated mainly along the river plains in Banpong, Potaram as the area was fertile and suitable to farming. As a result, there continue to be new settlements since Ayutthaya to Thonburi and Ratanakosin. New temples were erected and named after those in the fatherland, such as Wat Tan, Wat Makam, Wat Muang, Wat Nakonchum, and what Kongkaram. There was no concrete uh, evidence to determine the time Mong Mobilmen and their subjects moved to the Maglong Plains. But it was likely that the movement took place sometimes in the range of King Rama II and Rama III. So when it was relatively peaceful, as Burmese army was fighting British forces, Pira to the kingdom was occupied by Britain. In 1824, Mon rulers of seven border provinces decided to evacuate to the rush for tide of Maklong Plains. <music> the 
the first day opera of Mont from Burma to Ban Muong in Maklong Plains is believed to be take place during King Naresuan the Great between the year 1580 and 1593. The group was led by a revered Mon Buddhist monk, his name is Kan Chong, and found a settlement which had the name Ban Muong or Wan Gurut in Mon. So subsequently, a temple of the same name was built. According to the feelings of the Religious Affairs Department, Wat Muang was built in the year 1782 when King Narai the Great reigned. It is therefore possible that the first Mon this opera in Ban Muang crossed the border during the time of King Narai Suan. The communities then started to take shape and expanded into a temple which was eventually built before the community history was inscribed in a scroll 30 years later. Every member in a Mont family is taught to understand and respect the spirits of their ancestors. So in each family, an eldest son is called Tonpi or Purapi or the spirit receiver. He is the one who takes care of the family ancestors and conduct all rituals to bring good omen, fortune and happiness to all the family members. Family members who do not live in the same area will travel to join the rituals. Under a closer look, it can be seen that old households pay great attention to Sao Ek or the central pole or the central wooden pillar of the house which is considered the ancestor's resting place. At the same time, people in Ban Muang are strict Buddhists and live in a simple life. They carry on the culture and tradition of their ancestors. From birth to death, they have had close association with temple. Their bird acts as a spiritual leader and guidance on education and community development. Their spiritual belief and deep religious faith means this is a close and harmonious community. As a tide of outside social and economic pressure increase, they put in an effort to develop their community and the temple and act in unison to retain modern culture and tradition. In the old days, young Mon men and women were not allowed to mingle except on important days such as Songkran. So Sabah is a popular game during Songkran. The game begins with conversation between two sets of players. Female players in beautiful traditional costume will sit on one end of the playing ground as directed by Naibon or the female ground master. So the first female player will sit on the ground with Sabah. Sabah is a, a rounded edge seed placed in an upright position in front of her. The master then calls out young men also dressed in Pamuang and stripped costume to take a seat. 
each facing his female competitor, he will sit on the ground and ask politely in Mont dialect to start the play and will try to shoot her zaba. Well, I'll do my best for this. Three, two, one, bang! And with me here is Ajahn Saang from In. She is a former village headman. And also, we are both of us here, right here in a very important place. It is on, at the local folklore museum. So Ajahn Saang is going to take me around and uh, to see the place. Uh, so we have to greet her first to see what she's going to say. Sawadika. Uh, oh, she greeted us in one language. So, this is a place where you are from. Yes, it's a place where you are from. And it's a place where you are from. What do you think about this? What do you think about this? What do you think about this? This place has a place where you are from. This place has a place where you are from. This place has a place where you are from. This place has a place where you are from. ผ้าหอกกัมพีผ้าหอกกัมพีเป็นทำด้วยไม้ไผ่แล้วค่ะ so I ask uh, uh, อาจารย์ for of what is happening here what we have seen here is a museum where they kept all the um, old artifacts which is uh, all materials which is all the days that belong to more people around this area แล้วอาจารย์คะผู้คนตรงนี้เนี่ยเป็นชาวมอญทั้งนั้นเลยหรือไงคะเป็นชาวมอญ 90% มี3ตำบลมีกำนวนมันม่วงคุ้มยอมแล้วก็นครชุม She said around here the people who are living here are mostly 90% m o n descent so they come right from the from Burma actually so what we see here นี่ก็ถึงที่เราเห็นตรงนี้ก็คือผ้าผ้าหอกัมเพย์ของชาวมอญค่ะอันนี้เป็นของใต้ชาวอินเดียมาเที่ยวเมืองไทยอะไรนี้ก็เข้ามาให้เอาไว้ที่กระพันแล้วก็มีผ้าอันนั้นคือผ้าทองมีมีสองผืนมีพิพิธภัณฑ์แห่งชาติชาติกับที่นี่ค่ะ Oh, that's so beautiful material. We thought it's for dressing. No, it's not. It's just for for wrapping the Mon Bible because uh, they just not to destroy. That's what the uh, was explaining. That uh, reason they have to have the wrapping of uh, of the documentation. Uh, about religion or Bible, I should call that, uh, because they don't want to destroy it. So underneath of this material, there are uh, well, bamboos wrapped up again. Very interesting. So we move on. This is the Mahalaisin Pakon. 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 พิธีการมาดีของศิลปกร I was asking her it's so about when she called it the local folklore it is it's it's huge and it's containing a lot of important valuable ancient pieces of the property here and she said this is together it is a cooperation between the Ban Muong the local museum and the fine arts department that's why they're keeping things many important. They're being dug here and they found it here. So we let's go and see. Have a look down. We need to go down, okay? Hmm. And this, ah, and this will. Oh, this is oh, this is called saba. Up up there, me, na chang, me, kop tau, ka. Ani pen mai, ka. I should say because she explained that saba is one kind of the sport, being famous and played by the Mon people. So we could see that the white thing. We don't look from far. You know, I thought it's stone or something. No, it is ivory. 
It is ivory. It can be made of actually made of one kind of the fruits, the seed, but it can was made by from ivory and many other and, material. And this is the home of the อันนี้สงแช่อันนี้โรอันนี้แช่อันนี้โรอันนี้แช่อันนี้โรอันนี้แช่อันนี้โรอันนี้แช่อันนี้โรอันนี้แช่อันนี้โรอันนี้แช่
มาตั้งใจอยู่อยู่เป็นอยู่ในวัดค่ะกำเพลนี่อยู่ในวัดจอวัดเก็บวัดอยู่ที่ไหนคะวัดม่วงเนี่ยเก็บวัดม่วงแต่ไม่ทราบว่าอยู่ที่วัดกำเพล You see this the very valuable because uh, it's inscribed in the, in ivory and it was there nobody knows for how long and uh, where did it come from but it was at the Wat m u a n Uh, which is a temple next to the museum here. a p i n g a c h a n Ah, it is. i t i s It is m o n language. You've written t m o n language on ivories, hmm. on ivory trunks. a n i a p i n g n Ah, apart from the ivory trunks, the elate, it's also having silvery. It's written on the silver. That's why you can see it blacked out because of that silvery later. Interesting. Very nice. This is the one that was used by the Jews. This is um, some vessels. Some uh, uh, belongs to the, the the monk or the leader of the community in terms of the of the uh, abbot of the temple. Wow! Look at all this. Yes. อันนี้คัมภีร์12ราศีเป็นภาษามอนโอเคนี่คือโซดิกโซดิก in m o n language it says that each year uh, but you belong to that the symbol of uh, rabbits of, of, of the horse of the snakes so this is the whole zodiac that we can say oh, very interesting so uh, We like to hear. 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 But she can speak very fluently. Let's listen to her. Nay, long kui, fang mai dek. Ah, Pichi Khan, ni suoi ma share. Share, share, 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 share. ภาษามอนไอโอภาษามอนเดียวเอาจะถูกไม่ค่อยถูกไม่ค่อยถูกต่อยาวนะฮะเนี่ยอะไรมันนานๆเลยทีตรงนี้มันพูดอะไรก็ได้คนที่นี่อยู่กันก็ฟันฟันตะเนาะมวนเยอะเนาะมวนไปอ่าไปไปฟันมวนว่าไปวันเนาะอะไรไม่ไม่ค่อยได้พูดไงไอไอดูอันดับแซงว่าชิงเสียงแปลว่าอะไรนะคะจะได้ไปไปปะอ๋อมวนไปวันก็มอนสามตำบลแล้วก็ยังมีเอ่อ she still be able to speak but do not very fluent and she talk about the people here about ninety percent of the people here belong to the moon descendant Potaram and b a n p o n g have thrived economically and culturally since their birth. Local people have kept their distinct culture and sacred rituals intact, while retaining a deep religious faith. With progress and development springing up as a border trade, increasing in the run-up to ASEAN economic community. The Mon communities will show once again that they can stand against the test of time and changes. Time for ASEAN Society this week is up. We will come back with more interesting stories and people. Until then, thank you for watching. I am Kusuma Yotasmu. สวัสดีค่ะ